At which heavenly spot did Guy La Liberté, founder of Cirque du Soleil, pay $35 million to stay for 10 days? Thank you for the roses. Yeah, I have a little scrape here. A little scrape. An Airbnb. <laughs> That's a good answer, Ashley. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, anyone? Not the pyramids. <laughs> Whoever said Airbnb, that was funny. Not Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Not a Trump hotel. <laughs> uh oh. Da -da -da. So the correct. Your first time on TikTok. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the corgi, Ashley. That's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. So, yes, there we go. RJ Patel, you got it. So, the correct answer, the great. Well, no, the correct answer, guys, is the International Space Station. There you got it, Bee Farmer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you, Muhammad. Hey, my day was pretty good. I was actually pretty productive. Okay, next question. You're in New Jersey, welcome, I'm in Miami. I'm in Miami, bitch. Thank you, Ashley, that's nice of you. Okay, next question. Which of the following is not a villain? Um, hang on, guys. Which of the, oh, Charleston, that's nice. We got other, Ottawa. Thanks, guys, Port St. Lucie. I'm in Miami, but I'm from Canada. I'm from Winnipeg. Thank you. Thanks, Corey. Okay, so next question, guys. Which of the following is not a villain in a James Bond movie? Auric Goldfinger, Jaws, Le Chiffre, or Dr. Evil? Yeah, exactly, go, just go. <laughs> So the question is, which of the following is not a villain in James Bond movie? Auric, Goldfinger, Jaws, or sorry, Auric, Goldfinger, Jaws, Le Chiffre, or Dr. Evil? This one's really obvious. <laughs> yes, Winnipeg, exactly. There we go, a bunch, it's not Jaws. No, guys. It's Dr. Evil. <laughs> hey, how are you? It's Dr. Evil, guys. Clearly Dr. Evil. I know, but did you see, did you see the other movie? Newman from Seinfeld, yeah. Um, did you not see um, Austin Powers? He's the villain, Dr. Evil is the Austin Powers. Hey, Canadians, I'm Canadian too, but I live in Miami. Hey, Americans. They're real and they're spectacular. Um, so so the, the answer was Dr. Evil, guys. Everyone should have known that. Everyone should have known that. Next question. Which US president's body was exhumed 140 years after his death to test for foul play because his biographer suspected arsenic poisoning? I live in Florida. Uh-oh. Da 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 da. So, um, guys, uh, Wilden, if you text me on Instagram, I get too many messages there. I don't answer them. It's just too much. Uh, no, guys. It's actually, I still haven't seen the correct answer. Um, but you can check the link. Oh, there we go. Brett, you got it. I've never heard of this particular president, to be honest. Silver Papa, you got it. Um... <laughs> yeah, RJ Patel, you got it. So, <laughs> thank you. Ergo, yeah. No, not Joe Biden. He's still alive, I think. Um, so the correct answer got, uh, not Zach Morris. <laughs> not Zach Morris. Zach Morris is from Saved by the Bell, you guys. Yeah, they, you guys definitely Googled that. Come on, don't, don't. <laughs> 
Not Kamala Harris. Okay, so the correct answer. Thank you. It's Freddie now. So the correct answer, guys, is Zachary Taylor. Autopsy results showed the 12th president died of natural causes. <laughs> Next question. You're my huckleberry. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay, next question. You got it right? Wow, look at you, er, um, Ergo. Which country's national flag is the only one not rectangular or square in shape? So the question was, hi, Jose. Which country's national flag is the only one not rectangular or square in shape? Not Japan. No, not Trinidad. Yes, uh, Gasper Mike, yeah, you got it. John Aragon, that's correct. Hiba, you got it. Visari, you got it. RJ Patel, you got it. Um. <laughs> um, like I said, if you guys text me on Instagram, I won't probably see it because I get too many messages there, but you can check the link in my Instagram bio to reach me. I answer everyone on my spicy page. Um, yeah, so the correct answer, which a bunch of you got, is Nepal. It's Nepal. Okay, next question. You got star of the week at school? Okay, maybe, maybe. Yeah, so it was Nepal, Man War, you got it, Man X War. <laughs> Hi, Charette Guy. Um, I sort of speak Spanish a little bit. Okay, next question, guys. Um, the proceeds of the proceeds of which annual event attended by the president and first lady go towards scholarships and awards for aspiring journalists. <laughs> so the the proceeds of which annual event attended by the president and first lady go towards scholarships and awards for aspiring journalists. Farm awareness, no. Thank you. Thank you, Guillaume. Um, yes, correct, Matt Power. Um, Josh, BFD, sorta. Um, Uh-oh. No. No, not the Pulitzer. Yes, uh, Jabber, yeah. Hi, Heather, how are you? So the correct answer, guys, is the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Oh, I'm glad you're watching me, Heather. 